if I do all of this, uh, my hope is uh, that at the end of the three months, uh, I will have made a significant improvement. Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. How do we maintain our commitment in learning a language? That's what I'm going to talk about today. And I'm going to talk about it in the context of my next 90 day challenge. Now, remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. Now, you know, I often make the point that language learning is not a sprint. It's a long distance race. It's not even a race. It's a journey. And there was once a, I think a movie called the loneliness of the long distance runner. And so as we're engaged in this long distance process of learning a language, it's easy to see our enthusiasm flag. And that's why from time to time I join a challenge at link. And so I'm going to do a 90 day challenge, but I'm going to do three different challenges. Now there's a place on link where it invites you to join a challenge. So I joined the, uh, streak with Steve challenge, which is where I'm committed to maintaining my streak that I have to save so many links, create so many links every day. Um, so that's one. But I'm also going to do a 90 day challenge in Arabic and Persian. So it's three challenges, but it's really the same challenge. What I'm committing to do is to save, to create a minimum. It's, and I'll go into how I set these, my goals, but 13 links a day in Arabic and 13 links a day in Persian. Now the streaks that we track at link have to do with creating links but that's not my only activity. I'm going to be speaking with my tutors two, three, at least times a week, one tutor in Arabic, one tutor in Persian. I'm going to be doing my usual reading and listening. However, in order to meet my links target or goal, I did a number of things. First of all, I adjusted my daily goal down because I, you know, if you go to the settings gear symbol, uh, on link, you can set your daily goal and there's a sort of, you know, intensive level, which is, I have done in the past, which is a hundred links a day. Uh, and then there's what we call casual, which is only 13 links a day. And so I adjusted my goals down to 13 because I want to maintain my streak. I want to be able to do at least every day. I want to do 13 saved links in at least one of the two languages. So that means that I have to bring in new material. I have been in both Arabic and Persian. I have been spending a lot of time with my existing content because I have so many saved links, especially in Arabic words that, you know, I've, I've looked up, they're now yellow, but I still don't know them. So I go back into content that I've listened to before, hoping to move some of these to known. The problem with that is the brain doesn't remember much. It seems it doesn't remember the words, but it knows that the content is not new any longer. It's heard it before it's read it before. So it's less stimulating for the brain. So I'm going to force myself to bring in new content. Now this could be in the case of Persian, some of the content that Sahara is creating for me in Iran about she travels in her country and this kind of thing, or about, uh, you know, she's done some on, on, uh, movie directors in Iran. And then she sends me a link to the movie. So I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can find these, uh, Iranian movies somewhere. It's not, that easy to do. And of course the dialogue is very fast. And I don't understand it. And we're trying to figure out how I can maybe extract the audio and we're working on that. And of course, and with Arabic, uh, what I want to do is I want to focus more on Egyptian Arabic so that I can enjoy movies. Cause right now I don't understand the movies and most of the movies come from Egypt. And for that reason, I've started talking to Mohammed, who is from Cairo. And we started a few lessons now in Egyptian Arabic. I have listened to the many stories quite a few times in Egyptian Arabic. And so then I get on with Mohammed and I read a story and then he, and because the stories consist of, you know, part a, which is a third person and part B, which is first person or past tense or future tense. And then there are questions with the answer sort of provided. And so he reads the statement. He asks me a question and I'm reading along 
and I answer, reading along, and he corrects my pronunciation, and this gets me closer to Egyptian Arabic. And I'm hoping that through this process, I'll be able to understand Egyptian movies. So if I can continue my sort of input activities, reading and listening, if I can get on with my tutors, do some reading and some speaking, if I can access now movies, which is the live language, people living the language, over a period of three months, uh, but every day I have to find at least 13 new words that I save as links and put them into my vast collection of, of saved links that I'm still trying to learn, yellow words. If I do all of this, uh, my hope is uh, that at the end of the three months, uh, I will have made a significant improvement. Uh, the idea of the, of the challenge is, is, is not that you're going to necessarily measure how much better you became, but it, it is a little nudge to get you going every day because I want to maintain my streak. I want to save those 13 links. Uh, it's a bit of a commitment and I'm hoping that other people on link will do the same and so we can compare. It doesn't mean that everyone is studying Arabic and Persian. People might be studying uh, Chinese or Russian or Spanish or Portuguese or whatever it is, English, uh, but at least we're kind of that loneliness of the long distance runner, the loneliness of the language learner is lessened to the extent that we can share our experience, share our activities and make sure that we maintain our streaks or, you know, uh, whatever level we set for ourselves, goals that we set for ourselves. So we're kind of collectively pushing each other to work a little harder and hopefully enjoy it more because the goal ultimately is to enjoy learning the language, not necessarily to, I don't know, uh, achieve some numerical number. It's to feel more comfortable, more engaged with learning the language. At any rate, that is what I'm going to do for the next three months. It's a 90 day challenge. I'm going to try to maintain my streak and I'm going to try to see how far I can push my my numbers on my profile at link, uh, known words and so forth. But the only goal I'm going to really track is the saved links. That makes it easier for me, uh, fewer, uh, you know, less pressure. Um, I'm going to have these increase, have this in increased interaction with my tutors. I'm hoping that that will move me into a situation where I can enjoy uh, uh, movies. Then I have to persuade my wife that we're going to watch Arabic or Persian movies rather than whatever latest thing she's found on Netflix or Amazon. Right now we're enjoying a Danish movie by the seaside or something of that nature from Amazon. It's spectacular. I love listening to Danish. I don't understand it as well as I would like. Uh, I even ran through our mini stories in Danish. I see we only have 25. I would love to have the full set of 60. If there's any Danish people out there that want to help us with getting more content into Link, please let me know. And I encourage all of you to make a commitment to the next 90 day challenge. Sign up at Link. Thank you for listening.